You ever played the game Telephone? I know the younger people are probably like, what is that? But I know older people know exactly what I'm talking about, but I explained it to you. Telephone is a game where one person starts off with an original message. And they have to verbally tell that message to the person next to them. Then the person next to them tells the person next to them. And the message goes to about 10 to 15 people. The goal of the game to, is to see if the message remains the same as it was from the first person once it gets to the last person. Now, nine times out of 10, it usually gets changed up somehow, some way. Um, but in this case, Lamar is letting you know, like, I was never even part of the game because all these messages, they didn't come from me. Uh, and, and I love how Lamar Jackson is addressing this head on because we've all certainly heard the rumors. We've all heard them. Um, we've heard things like Lamar Jackson possibly going to the Dolphins. We've heard Lamar Jackson, oh, he don't want to be with the Ravens. Um, and let me tell you the reason why a lot of these rumors got started. Every time you hear about Lamar Jackson and contract talks, every time you hear about it, it usually makes it sound like it's coming from or being spoken about in a negative light from Lamar Jackson's side because when you heard Eric DaCosta speak about it he said hey we just waiting on Lamar Jackson we going at his pace it's all on him you heard John Harbaugh speak about it he said well EDC they've been trying to reach out to Lamar but hey he he just focused on playing football that's it we heard the quotes from Steve Bashotti yesterday he said he did say hey when Lamar's ready we'll pay him but he just focused on football right now so that's that and then you heard different reports from different media outlets and whatnot um, talking about how Lamar is not talking to the Ravens. We even heard the report that he was ignoring the Ravens at one point. Um, so that is why a lot of these rumors started, because every time that a report came out about Lamar Jackson and the Ravens and contract talks or lack thereof, it just seemed like Lamar was not interested in it. But um, Lamar, the same what I've been saying on here is one. I don't think he wants to re-sign yet. I do think he wants to see what the Ravens do. But another thing we've been saying on here, he wants to bet on himself. He wants to bet on himself. And if the longer he waits, and especially if he goes out there and gets back to the Lamar Jackson that we all know and love, well, most of us, I know some of y'all like, ah, I don't like Lamar Jackson, but that's okay. But... If he goes back out there and gets back to playing Lamar Jackson football, he will be taken care of in a major way. Uh, Steve Vashadi, he, again, it was basically the whole uh, Joe Flacco thing. It, it, it seems like that all over again to where Steve Vashadi is saying yesterday. Like, he feels like Lamar just, he wants to play football. He wants to go out, try to win a Super Bowl first and foremost, and then say, hey, put, put Steve Vashadi in a situation where it's like, hey, you have to pay me. We have to get this done now. And that's something that we would all, <laughs> we would all love that. That would be such a great situation. Lamar Jackson in his fifth year wins the Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens and Steve Vashadi like, okay, well, that's <laughs> I got no choice but to pay you, my friend. But anyway, with all that being said, let, let's see exactly what um, Lamar Jackson said. He said, I love my Ravens. I don't know who is putting out that false narrative out that I'm having thoughts about leaving. Stop trying to read my mind. Now, let me tell you another reason why um, there have been a lot of narratives and whatnot about Lamar Jackson. He does not have an agent. And that's not a bad thing, but that's a thing. And with Lamar Jackson being the player that he is and him not having an agent, a lot of outlets, they don't like that. They, they don't like that. You know, you, you, you've heard the way that Adam Schefter has spoken about Lamar Jackson, not just written a tweet report about him, but actually spoken about him. Like the way that he said his words, you could tell that he, he was like, oh, nah, I ain't feeling Lamar like that because he don't got an agent. Uh, my sports update, all right, the way he spoke about him too. Um, Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk. It's, it's so many different guys. It's, it's like a long list of them. When they, not only when they tweet about him, but when, they, when you actually hear them speak about him, not having an agent, you can tell so many of them they hate it. They hate it. They hate, they hate it so much because a lot of these agents are their plugs. A lot of these agents, they, they let these reporters and these analysts know like, hey, this is what's going on. Or they give them different information and whatnot so they can have a story and whatnot. But with Lamar Jackson, there is no story. There are no stories. So a lot of these people trip out and they're like, man, 
we can't get nothing on this guy. So you know what? We'll start our own thing. We'll start our own thing. But with Lamar Jackson not having an agent, they don't have access. They don't have access. And they, when, when they don't have access, imagine if you're so used to having access to something. Like, I'll, I'll liken it to a fridge. You go to the fridge for food. You go to the fridge for juice. You go to the fridge just to eat something. So say, for instance, you're so used to going to the, to the fridge in your house. And you're hungry one day. You're like, oh, man, oh, I, I got to eat something. I got to warm something up. I got to put something in the air fryer. I got to make something on the stove. I got to bake something. I got to eat because I'm hungry. So you walk up to this fridge that you're used to going to every single day, multiple times, every single day. But then you don't have access to it anymore. It's locked. There's a big chain on it. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I'm so used to the norm for me is having access to this fridge whenever I want it. But now that changed. So that's going to upset you. That's going to put you in an awkward spot like, man, what's this about? So you are going to have some problems with that fridge or with whoever cut you off from that fridge. In this case, Lamar Jackson cut a lot of these reporters off. No agent, no leaks. No agent, no stories. No agent. It's left a lot of people to build their own narrative about one Lamar Jackson. So this is Lamar Jackson actually this week. Like, really, over these past, like, seven days, and a lot of people that know that Lamar Jackson, he's been, like, social media-wise, he's been speaking a lot more on a lot of stuff. Um, so somebody said, uh, somebody replied to one of his tweets, and they were like, man, I, I played Madden with you. I used you in Madden, and I lost, like, 100-something to, like, maybe 10 or 15. He said, that's because you trash. Uh, that was actually the Team Keep It Clean version. Um, he, uh, and then, then he tried to say, he said, oh, I, I was hacked. Of course he was joking and whatnot, but Lamar has been speaking his mind and, and replying to a lot of stuff a lot more recently than the norm, but I love it. I, I love it. Lamar Jackson, I think he realizes that he has so much power. He has a lot of power right now. A lot of people keep talking about how the Ravens, they have all the leverage when it comes to Lamar Jackson and contract talks. I disagree. I disagree. And I've said this before in previous videos, recent pre previous videos, too. I know the, he's playing on a fifth year option right now and they could possibly franchise tag him next year. They could franchise tag him the following year. They could do all that stuff. And I know that's how people say, oh, the Ravens got a, They got the leverage and da 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 da. Lamar Jackson, especially coming from him, ain't no agent. Not, not, it wouldn't be a rumor. All he has to do is he, because he knows, we know people are watching his every move. People are watching to see what he says. People are listening to see what he says. They're waiting to see. They're waiting to hear. All he has to do is say the right thing and, or the, or the wrong thing. And it would send shock waves through the entire NFL all he has to do and that could completely change the situation with him and the Ravens but this right here him saying this right here this lets it be known from his point of view and the Ravens have let it be known from their side too like hey I don't want to go nowhere I'm chilling now um this is nice for him to say that that's cool but everything will really be silenced. Like this, this is a way to silence people temporarily, but not forever. The only way that people get silenced forever when it comes to this, this whole contract thing, is once that deal is signed. That's it. That's going to be the only way. Because Lamar can say what he wants. The Ravens can say what they want. The reporters, all that stuff. But until a contract is signed, all this talk, it's not going to go away. It's not. It ain't going to go away. But this does temporarily shut a lot of people up. So hopefully, because oh man, I just, oh, oh, I would not want that to happen, man. Lamar Jackson to another team. Mm. Like I, I even saw like yesterday. For those of y'all that follow on Twitter, y'all might have saw it, but uh, there was, I forgot what tweet it was under, but somebody had made a picture of a Lamar Jackson uh, in an Eagles jersey. And I, I told her, I said, you got to delete this, man. You, 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 you got to delete this. Because, man, it's like, you just, 
and and I know a lot of a lot of us have thought about that possibility too. Like, man, what if, man? What if? What if? And this is a scary thing to think about as a Ravens fan. Well, again, there are some Ravens fans who are like, oh man, please, I want Lamar Jackson to leave. But again, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But Ravens gotta uh they gotta do this thing the right way, man. They gotta do it the right way. Uh, when that time does come for them to resume uh, contract talks, because it does seem and sound like from everything that you hear, they ain't been in contract talks. Lamar Jackson been like, uh, no, nah, I'm straight. I hold off. I wait. I'm betting on myself. And no problem with that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but shout out to Lamar for speaking up, because, again, his voice, his words, they do hold a lot of weight. Team keep it clean. Like Lamar Jackson told the world that he doesn't want to be when it comes to being with the Ravens. I'm out.